Good day! In this video, we are looking at a numeracy exam paper in June 2023. The paper is a unit standard. It is 32406. Use math and stats to meet the numeracy demand of a range of situations. So this paper is either a pass or not a pass or in other words, achieve or not achieve. If you achieve, you get 10 credits. If you don't achieve, then you do not get the 10 credit and you have to do it again until you get the 10 credit. So there are three outcomes, one, two, and three. Every question has a different outcome. So you must bet a combination of outcome one, two, and three to be able to get your 10 credit. So without further ado, let's start question 2D. Okay, 2D. In this video, we are going to do question 2D and 2E and we will continue with 2, F and G in the next video. So the question 2D sounds like this. The moa is an extinct bird. A large moa weighs 2,230 kilogram, okay? While a large kiwi weighs 3,300 gram. About how many times heavier was a moa than a kiwi? So now you are comparing a moa to a kiwi. So to do that, you must first convert them to the same unit before you can make a comparison. So we can either convert 230 to gram or we can convert 3003 to kilogram. So it is easier to convert 3003 to kilogram. You just need to divide 3300 divided by 1000 and the kiwi is actually weighing 3.3 kg. Okay. So to compare the moa to the kiwi bird, so you just take the weight of the moa, moa is 230 kg, okay, and you divide by 3.3 kg. Okay, now your job is to put in the calculator and it come out a beautiful number, 69.69 times, okay, kg will cancel, so 230 divided by 3.3 is 69.69. So if you answer the question, how about how many times heavier was a moa than a kiwi? The answer is going to be approximately 70 times, okay? If you put 69 in this exam, it's also acceptable. So we shall look at question 2F now. And this, uh, uh, before I forget, this is option, this is, uh, this is outcome one, okay? So now we are looking at E. This time it is outcome two, okay? So we shall read the question. Every year, forest and bird holds a competition where people vote for the bird of the year. The graph shows the number of bird votes for the winning bird since 2008. So 2008 is here, 9, 10, and so forth. Okay, so the question asks you about how many votes did the winning bird get in 2017? This is a question to test your ability to interpret graph. 2017 is somewhere in between 16 and 17. So that is the point here. Okay, the point there. So how many birds? You just take a ruler and measure it. So it is uh, slightly between 7,000 and 8,000 and it's slightly just below the 7,005. So you can say it is slightly, number of, vote will be, number of votes will be slightly less than 7,500 votes. So if you can understand how to interpret the graph, you will get outcome number two in this paper. So. Go through this paper again, question 2D and 2E. It shouldn't be that too difficult. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, everyone, and have a good day.